So now let's look at comparing this graph. Let's compare our original parabola, y equals x squared. And hopefully by this point, you have figured out what our original parabola looks like. And let's put it in, and I'm going to try and put it in black again here. Put our points in and sketch our parabola. Just like so. So there's our original graph. So now let's look at, again, doing table of values. Now, I will tell you that we're only doing the table of values the first time, just to get an idea of what these pictures look like. Table of values are very, very tedious and very, very monotonous and not the best way to graph a parabola. But we're going to do it just for the first ones. So again, let's call this graph the first one, number one, and we'll call the second one number two. And we're going to use those same points. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. And this is number 1. So again, we're going to do some mental math. Negative 2 squared is 4 minus 1 get, puts us at y equals 3. Uh, negative 1 squared is 1, minus 1 is 0. 0 squared is 0, minus 1 is minus 1. 1 squared is 1, minus 1 is 0, and 2 squared is 4, minus 1 is 3. And let's go back to our notes because 1 should be minus and 1 should be plus. It would be pretty pointless to plot the same graph twice. So same thing. Let's plot these points. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. And do some mental math. First one's going to be 2 squared, which is 4, plus 1 is 5. Negative 1 squared is 1, plus 1 is 2. 0 squared is 0, plus 1 is 1. And hopefully by now you've seen the symmetry 2 and 5. So those are our two equations. So we're going to now go plot those two equations. Plot them on the graph. And uh, for again, the first one I'm going to do in red here. So we go to these points. Negative 2, 3. Negative 1, 0. 0, negative 1. 1, 0, and 2, 3. So we have a graph that looks like that. And let's plot the second graph. And this one I'm going to do in green. So negative 2, 5, negative 1, 2, 0, 1, and so on and so on. And here we go. So here's our two graphs. Well, three graphs, but two compared to our original graph. So what has happened? Well, all that we've done when we've changed it from the equation is we've either minus 1 or added 1. What happened when we subtracted 1? Well, our parabola didn't change its shape, didn't get compressed or expanded. All it did is get shifted down or translated down. So that's all that happens is if this is minus 1, What's happened to this graph? All it has has been ver just shifted down or vertically translated. We can use either one in this case. So we'll just say it's been shifted down one unit. And what's happened to the green one? Well, of course, it hasn't been shifted down. It's been shifted up one unit. So all that does is that sh does that vertical shift and moves it up and down. Now, one thing that I didn't mention when we went back to our original parabola, I'm actually just going to flip back to the original parabola because there's one other thing on here that I should have mentioned that we're going to now start looking at more detail, is in this parabola, we have a point 
down here, where the parabola starts, which we call the vertex. And the vertex on this parabola is at 0, 0. Now, all the other parabolas that we did until we started shifting up and down, the vertex was still at 0, 0. Vertex there, 0, 0. Vertex, 0, 0. But let's look at this one. What's happened to the vertex now? Well, the vertex on our green one is at 0, 1. And our vertex, when we shift the graph down, is at 0, negative 1. Now, can anyone see what's happening here? If we have a minus 1, what happens to the vertex? It goes to minus 1. If we have a plus 1, what happens to the vertex? It becomes plus 1. That's going to come in handy a little bit later.